हेलो किड्स गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल वेलकम टू द इंग्लिश क्लास द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ टूडेज क्लास इज टू डिस्कस अ न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज दैट इज टेंस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल टेल यू द मीनिंग ऑफ टेंस चिल्ड्रेन टेंस मीन्स टाइम देर आर थ्री काइंड ऑफ टेंसेस नंबर वन द प्रेजेंट टेंस नंबर टू द पास टेंस नंबर थ्री द फ्यूचर टेंस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल डिस्कस विद यू द फर्स्ट काइंड ऑफ टेंस दैट इज द प्रेजेंट टेंस द प्रेजेंट टेंस शोज द एक्शन विच इज डन इन द प्रेजेंट टाइम लेट एस डिस्कस सम एग्जाम्पल्स फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज माई मदर cooks food children i will tell you if the subject is singular we use present form of the verb with s or es in the given example you can see subject mother is singular so we have used s with the present form of the verb that is cook second example is the children play with the ball children if the subject is plural in number we will use the present form of the verb in the given example subject children is plural in number so we have used the present form of the verb that is play here now we can say if the subject is singular in number we will use s or es with the present form of the verb or if the subject is plural in number we will use only present form of the verb now let's discuss the second kind of tense that is the past tense kids the past tense shows the action which was done in the past time let us discuss some examples first example is the children played with a ball second example is my mother cooked food kids we always use the past form of the verb with singular and plural subject in the past tense children now i will discuss the third kind of tense that is future tense the future tense shows the action which will be done in the future time let us discuss some examples first example is the boy will play with a ball second example is my mother will cook food children we always use helping verbs like will or shall with the present form of the verb in the future tense children remember one thing that when i or we is the subject shall is used as a helping verb there now i will tell you how to form verbs in the three tenses children some verbs form their past tense by adding d or ed to the present tense verbs always form their future tense by placing will or shall before the present tense kids again remember one thing when i or we is the subject we form the future tense of the verb by placing shall before it now let's discuss some examples kids first example is i love here the verb love is in present 
टेंस वो विल फॉर्म इट्स पास टेंस बाय एडिंग डी दैट इज आई लव एंड बाय एडिंग शेल टू द प्रेजेंट फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब दैट इज आई शेल लव इन केस ऑफ फ्यूचर टेंस सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल इज यू प्ले इट्स पास टेंस विल बी यू प्लेड एंड फ्यूचर टेंस विल बी यू विल प्ले थर्ड एग्जाम्पल इज दे टॉक इट्स पास टेंस विल बी दे टॉक एंड इट्स फ्यूचर टेंस विल बी दे विल टॉक किड्स सम वर्ब्स फॉर्म दियर पास टेंस बाय एडिंग टी टू द प्रेजेंट टेंस now we will discuss some examples first example is i spend the verb spend is in present tense so its past tense will be i spent and future tense will be i shall spend second example is you smell again the word smell is in present tense its past tense will be you smelt and its future tense will be you will smell next example is they learn its past tense will be they learnt and its future tense will be they will learn kids some verbs form their past tense by the change of word to the present tense now i will discuss some examples with you here the first example is i break the verb break is in present tense its past tense will be i broke and its future tense will be i shall break second example is you eat its past tense will be you ate and its future tense will be you will eat third example is they drink its past tense will be they drank and its future tense will be they will drink children next is some verbs have the same form both in the present tense and in the past tense first example is we hit here the verb hit is in present tense its past tense will be we hit and future tense will be we shall hit second example is you hurt its past tense will be you hurt and its future tense will be you will hurt third example is they cut its past tense will be they cut and future tense will be they will cut kids i hope that the topic of tenses and its three kinds that is the present tense the past tense and the future tense is clear to you now revise all these three kinds of tenses from your elementary grammar book thank you